Welcome everybody to the Financially Free Family. So today I'm going to talk about how to connect an external domain to your Wix website. And so in order to do so, you do need to buy at least a premium plan. So Wix has a variety of plans. And so here you see we have the combo plan. So you can manage plan by clicking here. They have website plans, business e-commerce plans, and enterprise plans. And so for this website, we chose the combo plan, which is the most affordable option. But you do have the business basic, the business unlimited, and the business VIP, which has different settings. But you do need to have a premium plan in order to connect your domain to your Wix website. And so let's go back and click on the website. And so now we're back in, as you see, an external domain has been connected, but we can go through the process of how you would connect your domain. So if you type in a domain and say, let's go, it'll take a few moments to find the domain provider. In this case, the domain provider is Google. It'll take a couple minutes for them to find it. We found your domain at Google Domains. And so yes, it's from Google Domains. I just need to confirm. So now it says connect the domain to the website. And so then it says follow along with a couple of steps and that'll take five minutes. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to log into your Google Domains account. So I have the Google account up here and it'll walk us through what we need to do in the Google account. And so it says it takes about 48 hours to process. So if you do not go through this process, again, you'll get that error message that will pop up saying that the domain was not fully integrated with the site. And so you have to go through this process. So let's walk through what we need to do. So let's hit start. Step one of four, log into Google Domains, open domains.google in your browser, log into the account. So we are currently logged into the domain right here and so we have my domains transfer billing account and a couple of other features here but this is the page that you should see and then it says once you log in I can say I'm logged in and it'll take me to step two find your domain from the Google domains homepage go to my domains by clicking the button on the top right corner you should be on your domain overview if you're not already there find Emmanuel wealthy legacy foundation.org so go to my domains. I'm in my domains right here and I see the domain name right here. Good, so we're on the correct page. And then we're gonna say I found, I logged in, it took me back to step one, but I found my domain. Now, step three of four, find your name server record. So from the menu on the left, choose DNS. Okay, so from the menu on the left, and so the way that we access the DNS setting is we have to click the domain link within my domains. Once you click that, then it's gonna take you to a page where it's gonna show you additional features about your domain. And so setting up Google Workspace, that's where you can do you at EmmanuelWealthyLegacyFoundation.org. That is very professional. So once you continuously grow your business, you're gonna to wanna to set up business emails. And so we need to go to DNS. Okay, these DNS settings are active. Changes are published immediately, but may take time to propagate. As I said earlier on the Wix site, we might need to wait up to 48 hours. And so what it says to do, keeps taking me back to step one, but it says from the menu on the left, choose DNS. You should see your name server at the top. They look like these. What I did was I clicked the drop down button and here are the current name servers that we have. Your domain is using Google Domain Name Server. So we found them here. So we found the name server. You'll see a step four, you'll see an option to use the Google Domains Name Servers or Custom Name Servers. Select Use Custom Name Servers. One at a time, copy the name server records and paste them into the custom name server fields in Google Domains. You'll need to click the plus sign to add a second name server. Add these Wix name servers. So use custom name servers. Custom name servers, okay? And then it says, no custom name servers have been set up. We're going to set them up now. One at a time, copy the name server records and paste them into the custom name server fields in Google Domains. You'll need to click the plus icon to add a second one. So copying and pasting this first name server, pasting it here. And then copying and pasting the second name server. And then I'm going to add the second one here. And then I'm going to hit save. 
And now it says your domain isn't using these settings. Switch to these settings. Custom name servers have been set up but are not in use. So we need to switch to these settings. Custom DNS config is activated. So I hit that warning sign and I said use those settings. Changes are published immediately but may take time to propagate. So now the custom domain servers are being used. And to clarify, name servers identify your domain's location on the internet. You can use Google Domains name servers and let Google manage them for you or use custom name servers and manage them yourself. So when I connect the custom name servers, that means I will have to manage them myself. And so I connected these two right here. You could, if you don't want to go through this process, you could transfer over the domains to Wix. So that Wix now owns them. But to keep the domains with Google and to keep your website builder separate, you can do it this way. And you can say I added them in step four. And it says verifying your connection. This can take up to 30 seconds. Your part is done. So your site will be live worldwide at EmmanuelWealthyLegacyFoundation.org by the end of the day on Monday, August 22nd. We'll update you at your email. Until then, your site may not be available at your domain on all devices. In the meantime, track your domain connection status on the domains page. So if there are any errors at all, you'll find it on the domains page. But officially, Google Domains has been set up with our custom name servers that were included on Wix. The website should be published and available on August 22nd and I can keep track of it right here. And so it should say domain check all the way up to Monday, August 22nd, then domain is connecting and then site is live worldwide. That is how you connect an external domain to your Wix website. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I cannot wait to see you next time. Peace, stay building, bye.